Uh, I, I wouldn't say that. I think we just gotta, you know, we gotta evaluate how Rob played and see how he played. Um, and if something's warranted, then we'll talk about that later. But I think right now that's not that wasn't even part of the discussion. Right when, now. when you play a freshman, uh, you have to expect some days like this. I mean, you, you don't want them, you don't like them, but you know, they're, sometimes they're inevitable. Um, yeah, they're inevitable. But I, I think the, the thing is, we have some older guys, and we got to get some of the older guys to step up and help them. And we're not doing that right now, and that's not to say he played a perfect game because he didn't, but we've got to make sure that, you know, some of the older guys that are fourth-year guys that are in the game and fifth-year guys in the game, got to make sure we can lean on them a little bit more, too, as well. we got to, we got to make a couple, you know, we're missing some blocks, we're missing some catches, missing some throws, and it's it's a combination of a bunch of things. So we just got to tighten it down and be much more precise next time. After that first turnover, uh, the first muff punt, was there any thought to go in for it on fourth and, and two when you were at the five, or was that, were you guys um, content to take yeah, the points? We talked about it. Um... And uh, it was one of those things, you know, at that point, three points, was, you know, it was a nothing-nothing game. Got on the board, and that was the right. plan, so. Did you get the ball, nine-yard line, you were thinking, this is it. Finally, we're going to punch it in. Yeah. But, I mean, Yeah, I was thinking that. Um, unfortunately, uh, you know, it was one of those things that didn't turn out that way. But uh, but I think, you know, we're, we're, like I said, it's just we get in there, we got to execute. I mean, we got to make sure we got the right things going. And, and uh you know, we had, we had a, a veteran, an upper class guy lined up wrong in one play. We had an upper class guy go the wrong way on another play, and uh, we just can't have it anymore. We got to make sure those guys, you know, we got to find out who's really locked in and who wants to execute and who wants to compete and who wants to get into it. And, uh, and, uh, and that's going to be the challenge is to find out who wants to stand up and uh, stand up and get any in. Do you think you have? Series that you had those two things go wrong with the upper class guys. They kind of they kind of blended together, unfortunately, in my mind. Um, one was now they were on both different series, both third downs. We had we had some situations that didn't we had some some busts. And that was can't. in the red zone, both of them. Yeah. So how much of that is a, is a mental hurdle now in terms of the red zone red zone strikes? Well, I think it's as much a physical hurdle as anything. We got to make sure we got we got people that are ready to compete and ready to stay on blocks and other. You know, even as we looked at the Iowa tape, you know, before down, if we stay on the block two hundredths of a second longer, we're in the end zone. Um, and I I'm not talking two tenths, I'm talking two hundredths. And that's about how it's been. It's the margin of error between being really good and, and, and just ordinary is, very, is razor thin. And right now we're on the wrong side of that margin. Yeah, sir, and we got to get over that. Uh, your initial impressions on Rob's day today? Um, up and down. Um, you know, the interception, they just had the right defense. They, they called it. It was a great defensive call, and uh, they played it pretty well. But... Uh, Obviously, um, but I think there's some, you know, until I really look at and evaluate some things, he missed one or two guys and then and he made some good throws on some other ones, so, you know, it's, we'll see what it is.